Describe what your organization does in one sentence. So my organization, uh, Decathlon, is the world uh, multi-sport leader in 70 countries uh, with 100,000 teammates, making sports available to the many. How long does it take you to get ready in the mornings? About 20 minutes. Most valuable skill you've learned in life? To be empathic. City in which the best kiss of your life happened? Mm, Mexico. How many speakers can you name at this conference? Maybe um, five. Okay. In one sentence, describe one problem that your organization is facing. To make sports available to more people uh using a, a lot more digital uh, ways and experiences how do you relax sports uh, meditation reading and can you name at least three speakers uh yep there was um <clears throat> uh claire kanjan um there was uh andre from uh, miro uh, there was, I uh, forgot her name, um, uh, that lady from the... The company works as well. Arch uh, Investing, yeah. A habit of yours that you hate? Pass. Work from home or work from office? Both. Most embarrassing moment of your life? Pass. How many hours of sleep can you survive on? Zero. Your favorite app? Decathlon.com. Decathlon. Uh, first movie that comes to your mind when I say the word technology. Mm, that's a good one. Did I use all the pass already? <laughs> you can use it again. <laughs> okay. How many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? Usually zero. Favorite Netflix show? Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to switch to uh, Amazon Prime. It's the expense. Okay. And that, that might be uh, the other answer for the technology one. Okay. So that's the end of the rapid fire. So for the long questions, the first one is, so how has the pandemic affected the digitization strategy of Decathlon? Like in what way? In a very, very positive way in the sense that there was this massive understanding that digital was a, a, a strong channel that we needed to develop. And in short, pre-pandemic, for a company that was making, you know, north of uh, 10 billion euros um, of turnover uh, in more than 70 countries, post-pandemic, we ended up at uh, more than 20%. So a huge shift in uh, awareness and also in solutions and experiences delivered to our customers digitally. And how is your strategy of digitization differed from other brands in the similar sphere? Well, first, first off, uh, I think there's a lot of common uh, in uh, between a lot of brands, and that's okay. I mean, because we we all need to go in the same direction. Yet, I think there are uh, uh, a couple of things that stand out. First of all, we have a, a major desire deep inside our DNA to be planet positive. Decathlon serves hundreds of millions of customers all over the world. Uh, with uh, uh, you know sport products and so we use digital a lot to make sure that the the, the carbon footprint of our company um, is uh, uh, as uh, small as possible so for instance in 2026 um, we have a goal of having 100 percent of our products being eco designed and eco design means optimizing every process and part of the product so that its, its carbon footprint is the uh, smallest as possible and that requires a lot of digital so that might be you know something that we do um, differently from other companies because it's so deep within our processes and another thing is um, we want to shift from just you know uh, providing products and equipment to people uh, to practice sports whether it's casual or high performance sports 
to a world of sport experience. That world where you, as a, as a sport practitioner or active practitioner, it might be even for urban mobility, you have this continuous, uh, continuous interaction with Decathlon, uh, whether for buying, but also for practicing, for improving, for connecting with your community. So these are a lot of digital experiences that we're building for our customers. And are you work, planning to work with some influencers or like social media uh, people to try to make this happen, this experience of Decathlon? Yeah, we started to do that and do uh, some, um, um, uh, some operations. These are very different. We're in 70 countries, so every time it's, it's different. Now, I think going forward, <clears throat> we're probably going to have a more global approach to, to this. Uh, in France, we've worked with a, a couple of uh, uh, influencers, CC Mua and others. Uh, but more globally, going forward, uh, we're probably going to be uh, a bit more stronger with that. Yeah. So as a chief digital officer, what do you think the future of cloud computing is? Well, I think the future of cloud computing is already here. And uh, I, I've been working for the past almost 20 years in the Silicon Valley. Uh, I used to live in San Francisco. Cloud computing has been around me in my life for you know at least ten years. Uh, so so to me the future is here. If you if you're talking about you know the the next step, uh, I think this is taking us into um, uh, Web three and how we rethink you know uh, the, the the notion of uh, of ownership thanks to to Web three and and the notion of transparency of what companies are doing for our customers, and that's something that's going to matter to us a lot because at Decathlon, trust and high ethics is at the core of our company for the past 45 years. So we're going to build upon that a lot. And so you talked about the Decathlon experience. Uh, is there going to be gamification in, involved in that in any way? Yeah, 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 somehow. I mean, uh, uh, an easy answer, you know, is that for us, sport is a game. Uh, it's always about, you know, playing and, and winning, of course. Um, but, you know, to give you some examples, um, recently we worked with um, the, the best uh, table tennis game uh, in virtual reality, that's 11 um, table tennis. Uh, and we worked and you played with an uh, Oculus Quest. We worked with them to make the precision of the sensation as good as possible and as close as possible to, uh, to reality by analyzing um, and, and using our skills, analyzing all the movements of the ball, the racket and all that. And we also developed and we're selling this uh, a dongle to plug your, your virtual reality handle on the, a dongle that looks like a racket uh, so that the, the, the you know, gestures and the feeling are as close as possible to the real game. Yet you don't have a, a table, you don't have a ball, you just play in virtual reality and it's getting so close to the real game that even you know good players are, are using it to, to practice. So it's a form of gamification and, and yeah, yeah, we're definitely going into this. And how vastly adapted do you think this is going to get in the future? Like is it going to become commonplace everywhere for this to happen? Well, there's, um, there's two things. On one hand, we deep in, in, in our DNA, we are super open and innovative. So we are going in these directions. Um, another example is that, you know, we, uh, we have connected treadmills where you can also, you know, put a, a, a VR a headset and, and, and walk in a virtual world rather than just looking at the wall in, in front of you. So we're innovating and, and trying all these experiences. At the same time, to us, sports has to be um, also lived, you know, outside with other people, uh, collective sports. Yeah, we're a big fan of, um, of uh, uh, hiking, nature, sports, and so on. So, so it's a balance, uh, embracing digital, but also being so close to the, the roots of sports and what makes it so important and helps, I would say, uh, for our health and our well-being. So what, in your opinion, uh, which element is the most important when it comes to improving and enhancing user experience? Well, the most important is to um, understand the users, obviously. Uh, that starts with, with that. Uh, that is um, establishing, you know, that, uh, that, that understanding of, of what their expectations are, perceptions are. So, so that, 
in Decathlon, we have that, that little secret sauce is that we have, you know, um, uh, more than 1,800,000 uh, stores all over the planet. We're presented 70 countries and we're an international uh, company. So we can talk to users physically uh, every day and, and that we leverage a lot. Uh, in order to understand what they want and people want digital but they just don't want digital they, they want you know this omni-channel experience that goes from or starts in digital goes to the store and back and forth and and also with circular economy where you know we go heavily into <clears throat> renting long term short term let's say you know you don't buy a bike for your kids that are growing and you change it every year uh, you rent them over the long term and you get new ones uh, we also go into into second hand so so we really have that, that you know close contact with with uh, with users. Um, at the same time, <clears throat> a user experience to me is also uh, about trust and ethics, and this is super important. And the direction we are going in providing a larger user experience to people through digital applications, we've released things at, such as Decathlon Outdoors. Uh, where um, uh, Decathlon Coach, Decathlon Pacer, which are activities and applications that help users practice their sport beyond the act of purchase. With that and through that, they spend more time with us and, and they entrust us with you know, uh, their data. And so in the customer experience here, what really matters is the trust uh, that you know, people can place in Decathlon. And so we build everything with a strong ethic uh, at the core of our, our DNA. So to me, these are two key, key, uh, you know, key levers, uh, key pillars of the, the customer experience. Okay, so the last question for you is a little personal. It is, what would you be doing in your life if not this? I, if I would not be doing this, uh, I would either do two things. I would um, work in a, a very, you know, tech, um, forward environment in innovation. So I mentioned Web3. It's a domain that uh, uh, you know is, is very exciting to me, and and I would be you know at the forefront of innovation. Or I think I would not be working. I would just do what I love the most, which is hiking and mountaineering. So one of both. All right. 